There, there, there. Guess we'll see. Okay. It's an okay ship. But you never know with this one because, um... I mean... You have no systems, you want to upgrade weapons, you have nothing to sell, so... It's fine. But sometimes it's not fine, so... Let's start and see what happens. Nebula is very far away. I want the Nebula though. Can I go there? Carry fight. If we eat everything, this thing is going down though. Very nice. Now we could try to get a fire and a bio kill like that. And we can try to get this shit down before it fires. Fire a single shot to train evasion, perfect. All planned. It's very very unlikely to get a bio kill like this, but it's possible. So we keep trying. Yeah, very unlikely. We can still get lucky with resists. Hmm. Yeah, it's difficult with the NG. I was hoping I would stun the NG in the fire, but the timing was off. Wait for the repair. Okay, no resist, no fires. But Jesus, that was a pretty fucking good beacon. 34 scrap. So there's a star nearby, but we really want shields. Distress beacon is fine, we have Columbe and Stunner. Just a fight, mind control. Well, this is not a pilot. Shit, it shouldn't do it. We have to try with fires again. Uh, let's put this guy here. That's easily ventable. Okay. Can we do it? Both of them are here now, so we need three shots. Let them repair once, then stun again, then I go for a double shot. And they die. Maybe we get a free flak. Or a free heavy, that's fine as well. Just scrap, store. For store, we don't have anything, unfortunately. I mean, feels bad. Maybe there is something good we can go back. There is hacking, but hacking is too expensive. Yeah, I think we just get shields and uh, commit on the, well, no stores for the sector and just try to get scrap for the next one.
I have to keep the shields up just in case. It should go down if I hit everything, but... Okay. We have to tank the solar flare, unfortunately. Asteroids. Fantastic. This would have been an easy, very easy bio kill, but obviously it's asteroids, so it's not. Uh, come on. Why does this game such a piece of garbage? Asteroids ruining everything as usual. I can't. The only ship that was bio killable had to be in an asteroid field. Should be fine here. training let's see if it's a good map of date no never mind it was not a map of date Good, we didn't miss anything, so we are fine. It's a lost crop reward, but if we were, they run away, we lose a beacon. Not a single bio killable ship. Maybe next sector. You know what? We might fully train here.
It's a good fight for it. Let's go for it. I'm not super confident on this run, so... We, go for, we want to keep the mini beam down, but we try to get the training. I believe. What's my weapon training? It's decent. Hey, Raka. Everything fine so far. Oh, I should have a mistake. I didn't see the thing coming back. Because as unlikely as it is, we can take damage here. I really want the training until I'm sure the run is stabilized. Nice. Mismanaged that one. Very good. Before we have to kill the ship. I don't care. I don't care if I fully train or not, but no reason not to get value out of this. We can even get more training as soon as we finish with weapons, since we can put two engines up instead of just one. Almost done. And more. Yeah, Gosman made the new the new spreadsheet because um, it auto calculates everything based on the stats that you input in. So we can have uh, other stats that will be better. To Oh, that, that will be annoying to put manually every time. Like technically, we could even get um, like the average of like the average scrap of taking into account every single run or per per ship and stuff like that. Hey, die, die. Like I think with the stats, we could even see the um, like for example, what's the difference in uh, average scrap comparing ships like. Uh,
that start with scanner and that doesn't, just to have a good average on everything. Almost done. Can I finish them before I have to kill their ship? Uh, maybe. It is kinda safe even with the mini beam, if we have to be honest. Come on, it's one off. Okay. Not a single bio kill this sector. Sad. Ooh. It's not a good weapon, but it's a weapon. We got rebel. Which means even less bio kills. But I'm not going Zoltan. Kinda cool. I don't know about that. We'll train this guy in shields for like two shots. Starts with a stunner. I mean, sure. I prefer more lasers to stack with the dual laser. Laser stacking is better than ion stacking. I mean, it's a nebula backtrack, and that may be the only store. 80 is enough. I mean. Well. Just battery, make sucking more likely. Vampire over ions are very, very good in the early game. They obviously fall off later on, especially once you get hacking. But uh, early on, they're very, very good. Ooh, is that better? I don't know. Shit, asteroids. Nice evasion training. How many can I take? I mean, this one for sure. I don't know if I have another before the store. That's fine. When do you upgrade it for the charge under the bridge one? For sector 3. Like, we don't have to upgrade weapons for sector 2. Okay, we can get a lucky finder to shield ship. But it's rare. I'd rather keep, like... Okay, I'm upgrading after the store. Not risking. Okay, can you...
One, two, three. No, I took it now. Wait, this is an escort, right? So it could be another store. Maybe after that quest. First one. That's better. I think I'm keeping the bridge though. I really want to go here first, before upgrading. Like, we could get Akin still. If we get Akin, we sell the bridge too. And maybe even the Ion Stunner if we really need a scrap. I don't want to sell the Stunner. But we'll see. Hmm. I hate when I get a shit timing. Like, I miss my shots and I get a shit timing with the ASB. Fantastic. What the fuck, you bitch? Because the iron doors. That, so that works the same way when they're fucking broken. That's so stupid. Impossible to kill unless I roll fires in the night. No, it's fucking impossible. Now with their stupid mad bay. Breach him. It's too slow. I think it's 1 in 4 for an escort request to be a store. Let's check it immediately, because if it is, if it's not, we can upgrade immediately. Okay, it was just a power bar. Uh, definitely doing this then. Like, we have 60 scrap, even more, just selling the stuff for rocking later anyway. Even if you get nothing for fucking 50 beacons. I'm kind of sad though that I didn't get a single biokillable ship with the uh, Castro C. The only one that was biokillable was not because it was asteroids. Very annoying. here I don't really need oxygen maybe they do in piloting actually please fuck you Well, pirate, it is.
Let's for oxygen. I could get one power bar in Engines 3, honestly. The Pirate Sector, the store is rare. We should upgrade now. And again, we have about 60 scrap that we can use in a store anyway, selling stuff. We do like this, and we have the battery for our engines. 80 oxygen should be enough. It's just beacons because we have iron and clombe. Well, we don't have anything for that. How many power bars do I have actually? 10. I mean, whatever. I need fuel as well. Yeah, bio killable, right? No fucking. Really. Fuck you. Like, I took everything and I even trained for the fucking evasion. Already back. QBDD, yes, we finished the uh, Darkest Dungeon. Uh. Today we will continue and try the DLCs, because we never tried the DLCs, so that's the plan. The plan with Darkest Dungeon is to try the DLCs, and then eventually start a new file and uh, try Torchless. Jesus Christ. Like a glaive with Iron Blast in an asteroid field and have clock in level 2. What the fuck? I mean, I need 2 damage. Can I get 2 damage on their stupid weapons before they fire the glaive? Thanks. I have to evolve this before the clock again, so let's do this, stun the NG while it repairs. And now we go for weapons and... Fucking... And they're dead. Shut iron into weapons. It, it doesn't matter, you need to eat anyway. Because if you... If the iron is the only thing that it's, they're disabling the... Like, you need to eat regardless. So might as well go for damage. Because then they actually have to repair that, the iron will wear off. So I think it's it's just the worst to go for the iron. Like it's better only if you need it for the timing, because then that means you can fire your laser a bit earlier. But besides that, it's worse. Jesus Christ, those weapons. I need the fuel, though. Like, if it wasn't for the fuel, I think I wouldn't mind going for the option one. And, like, I, I lost 20 scrap. But I get two additional beacons. Then again, I'm losing... Uh... I mean, we, we are firing after the flak bar before the burst too. Now we definitely want to fire the laser first and the iron afterwards though. That's for sure. Are you fucking kidding me, you bitch? I mean, the plan was good, it's just failed. 
We are keeping doing that also though, in case we get fires. Because there is a chance of bio killing this ship. And I, I shouldered this actually. Delay until the breach is ready. We are getting this bio kill. Okay, one, two, three. Can I do one, two, three, four? I think I can. Hmm. Do we even need the bridge? I think we can just kill it like this. It will have to go out and then we finish him with the laser shots. Yeah, we don't need the bridge. He's dead. One off. Bitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go. Jesus Christ. So many bad ships. They will fire before me anyway, so using the stunner. Or shield removal. They have a rock in a mad bay, so the bio kill is not really likely. It's possible though. Tempting Angie. No, we have to kill them. Like, dangerous weapons, running away, a rock, mad bay, it, it, we just can't. Like, maybe okay if I switch for a breach bomb earlier, I could have tried. Maybe I could have tried that. Let's see if we can get docking. Bypass another burst laser. Definitely fuel. Definitely selling this. I think we are going for the second burst laser. I can sell the stunner and play that immediately for we going weapons 5. Or we keep the stunner for blue option and we just remove the breach. It's also easy, like, I never, I don't think I'm going for weapons. Uh, Weapon 7, playing the breach again. It's way more likely to go with weapon 6 for the stunner, especially if I don't get hacking and it's, yeah, it's also faster. So, I'm pretty sure we are doing this. And selling this. Getting repairs, upgrade. A power bar. Still low on fuel though, unfortunately. Ah, uh, fuck you. It delays my volley. So this could be bio-killable. Uh, 
Um, is that good? I go like this, probably, yes. Because at this point, it's not boarding. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hmm, we have to deal with a stupid med bay. I mean, the fire should go down before it spreads too far. Okay, perfect. We should do this as well. In case oxygen is like... Fuck, I'm fucking up so much with the timing. He might spread further then. We might need two hits here. So that's the issue. I can't kill this guy. If he dies too early, the other guy will repair. If it's level 2, it's already failed. Unless... It's level 1, but this is going down, unfortunately. Unless we get lucky. No, obviously we don't fucking get lucky. Very annoying. I mean, it's level 1, it's still doable. Okay. Nice. One, two, three, four. Oh, here. Nah, I mean, it's the same. No, I mean, I just had to fire the iron immediately. If I fire the iron immediately, the laser shots are coming. I was just firing it a bit later, for no reason. Mantis. Okay, we disable. We want to make sure we are disabling the weapons first. What the fuck was that? Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ, the revision. I think it still has the charge and the Akamai evasion. Fantastic. What's the best way to do this? Try to get a fire or go for oxygen? I think it's trying to get a fire. The evasion though, Jesus Christ. Come on. Perfect. Okay. Another one down. Three fuel.
So for this one instead... We do this. Oh, come on. I mean, he can't finish. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're dead. Oxygen is level two. At least it seems to be level two. Let's wait until they die. It's not level 2. Mm, that could be a problem then. If the fire doesn't spread very quickly, it's a problem. Please spread more. Yes, to reach oxygen as soon as possible if it's level. Uh... Because they will get oxygen back here eventually. And they will start repairing. We can delay the repairs, obviously. Okay, nice. Yeah, this should be enough. What can we get from this? What will be the best thing? Probably heavy laser. Give me a heavy laser. Or give me a king. Can you give me a king? No? Rianji. I guess Angie or Rock are fine. Do you guys think uh, this guy knows that he's dead? I think he knows at this point. Very dead. Too bad. It's a pretty shitty way to die. On a ship. With no oxygen. Lombay disabled. Alone. Too bad. That's pretty good amount of scrap. So much pain. Ah, it's, it's fine. They have very good painkillers. In this universe, probably. We need the more damage than us, which is the standard again. No med bay. 
You mean enemies or me? I mean, we both don't have Mad Bay, no? I'm fishing for fires. Me? This ship starts with Clumbay. No fires. There is no point in destroying the Mad Bay. They're, they're Clumbe now. That's a problem. Oh my god, it was already charged. Obviously, I should have accepted that. I thought I had another volley before that. That sucks. Um, we don't have an NG. I'm going NG controlled, so we don't get the... Like, there are more empty beacons without an NG in the NG homeworld. And I think I don't mind having this path for the possible green sector here, maybe. I've really been enjoying multiverse. Multiverse is, is a very good mod. We will go back to it eventually. Yeah, especially on Opposed Multiverse. Okay, there are some parts that I enjoy a lot about Multiverse and it's mostly using my crew abilities and stuff. Is the setup FTL mods? Yes, you need something called a Slipstream and then you, put a, you download whatever mod you want, you put them inside the thing and it's essentially done. You have to do a few more things with certain mods. Like for multiverse, since it uses hyperspace, you have to download and other things that downgrade the uh, the FTL version, like to 1.9 instead of 1.16, I think, which is only language stuff anyway. But it's pretty easy to do, taking nothing. My only concern with multiverse is um, the normal game feels mostly easy, but to be fair, even vanilla it's mostly easy. While the ancient sectors are very, very dangerous. And um, balancing both of them will be a problem. Because if, if they make the normal game more difficult, then the ancient sector becomes even harder and stuff like that. So I don't know, it's, it can be problematic. Do we go there now? Okay, if we, if we go there now, we can afford hacking but not clocking unless we sell the stunner. So I think I want another beacon first. Well, I guess we have to sell it anyway. I mean, we want hacking, so if there is that option, we're getting that anyway. Reigniter, Reloader... This might be one of the spots where I don't mind the Reloader. With this kind of weapons, the Reloader can be significant. And we are still keeping 80. I, I kind of want to upgrade for the standard, it's 75 scrap, but then we might miss clocking. I mean hacking, and I don't want to do that. Nice. They have a fucking system repair drone though. I usually don't like Reloader, but I, th I think that was a, a good spot for it. And we don't like Reloader, I mean... I feel like most of the time it's not worth buying one. I really have to fix that. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, good timing on that. A 
Unless they're not running. This will fire because he kept some of the charge. I could have tried something, but it was too late for that. I, I, I was thinking about dropping shield to gain even more time before the missile hit, and maybe I'll get the. I can run away. But it was way off. Even if I drop shields, it's like more than one second. Yeah, even mind control will be nice, considering we have uh, sensors level 2. And it's weird because, like, this is probably the ship that needs a uh, sensor... Uh, like, it doesn't need sensor level 2 at all, since your pilot is very close to sensors, so... You can go into sensors and mind control and then put the pilot, in, the pilot back in position... Uh, before the enemy fires, anyway. But hey, you start with it. So, again... I could sell the stunner for clocking or just try to get more scrap first. Let's go here first. So clocking or hacking or mind control. Hacking, perfect. Level 2 and at least one power bar. I don't remember this quest. Taking the cargo. Yeah, definitely taking the cargo. Jesus. Okay, it's not playable right now, so... Okay, I can remove one of the, ion the burst lasers immediately. Actually, I don't need... I have the NG, I don't have to keep the stunner there. I mean, this is probably still better, though. Never knew that could give you a weapon? Yeah, it's often a weapon. It's either nothing and you get the quest anyway. Like, essentially, the first option is... Uh, you get the quest. Which is often not that good, because you can get the quest in a bad spot. So it's often better to go for the cargo, since it, it can be a weapon. Sometimes it's nothing and you get the quest anyway, but I mean... Let's start with the power bar, and then we wait and go for weapon 7. Or 6. 6. I mean, I have 21 drone parts. Easy. I played them yesterday, I forgot that you only get to system fed BM by the mind control instead of clocking. Where that, but still. And the first time. I mean, I've done that as well, and I'm pretty sure. Everyone did that at least once. It's common. Like, okay, it's not common, but it happens. Hmm, maybe. So just something similar yesterday. Yeah, I mean... It's very, very easy to make that mistake. That's three beacons. For sure. Um, double missile, Zoltan shield. It's just the missiles, the other is the heavy iron, but you can be a pirate, sure. Whatever you're doing, I don't care. Feel free to continue. Ooh.
This is an interesting decision. Because, okay, Pirate is slightly better than Slug. In the sense that... But, I mean, uh, Slug Dev stores, we want Clocking, we have the potential Green Sector. Pirate, we can find uh, Zoltan ships. Slug Sectors, though, it's more likely to find Clocking ships. Like, I feel like... Okay, I would rather go Pirate. But considering the layout... And the fact that I'm still missing clocking and mind control, and the fact that I will have this if I go up, I feel like going down is better. More stores right away, and possible more stores down here. We can also, if we don't get stores immediately, we can upgrade and uh, remove the stunner and put the second burst laser one. And that's a pretty good volley. Like, the volley, the volley, it's good enough that we can uh, act um, even weapons if we really want to. Should I be greedy with the power bar? I think so. I don't want to miss clocking because I bought a power bar. Like, we have 17 and 15 from the stunner and the drone as well. Like here, for example. I mean, here it's piloting arc and it's pretty easy. We are firing before this and the thing is going down. So, no reason to act anything else but piloting here. Okay, you can act engines, I guess, if you really want to. Nice, okay, we can already afford the... Let's go for a power bar then. Don't take damage, Liz. Annoying. Like, it's mostly annoying if you get the mind control plus boarding event with the Clombe Ark in a shitty spot. Like, if they mind control here so that i don't have doors I have to send the lanius there like that can be annoying especially if it happens during a bad fight besides that i i think i'm okay same thing here Perhaps you disable the racking. I do, but it's usually not great. Because with the hacking I can end the fight earlier and stabilize like that. But sure, we have the option. Get more scrub before the store. We have to be careful though because uh, we have um Of course, they're there. Like, our cargo is almost full. Why was the thing firing now? I can fire until they go back because, yeah, that happens though, otherwise. Is this very killable? There's one in engines and one in uh, shields. Oh, should I repair this? Forgot.
One, two, three, four, and go up, up there. Or up here. Start here. There they are. Jesus Christ, those weapons. It's fine though. We have their weapons. And they don't have mind control, they don't have clocking. This event is usually annoying if you if they have mind control. Without mind control is rarely an issue. Triple bomb. I'm making weapons. Not Mad Bay or Clone Bay. So Portal level 1, really. I kinda wanted to let them go back. It's still bio killable. We will repair the breach, someone else will go there. And. Uh, yeah, I should, it's the last. Oh, it's a rock though. Okay, the rock is the problem. Hmm. I mean, I don't really care about the bio kills. Yeah, whatever. Like, if I really care, that I should have let the the first guys go back in their ship. I just don't value mid game and the late game bio kills as much because they're mostly irrelevant. Get the back earlier. I was considering not hacking at all, but that was a mistake. Every time I fire all just two shots, they have oxygen level 3. Well, we get this one though. Nice ship. I think they act my doors. Because they know, or at least they think, that having no doors, it's a problem. Yeah, too bad. Perfect bio kill, they will remain at one hole. Just waiting for the other guy to die. Can they ever have a Lanius? Uh, not in uh, Slug Sector. Like, Lanius can be found only in Lanius Sector. So as long as you are not in an abandoned sector, enemies cannot have Lanius. Glad the kills are back in the stream. Yeah. As much as I enjoy this, like... Probably not going for bio kills is the only thing that I like and I cannot do in the speedy runs. Because I like the idea of, of pushing a flagship as soon as possible. 
But yeah, the bio kill bio kills are just cool. Play fast bio kills. I like, I don't know, looking for a bio kill when it's not obvious. Like, for example, the oxygen arc bio kill and just fire there. Sure, it's effective, but it, it feels free. It's more interesting when you have to work for it. Like, getting fires, stunning people in the fire, taking advantage of the stupid, stupid AI. I like bio swipes. A flock. I mean, we can upgrade one of the bars laser into a flock, sure. No systems though. Maybe I was too greedy with this crap, I should have explored more for the stores. Yeah, definitely you cannot train crew. Like, if you get passive training, sure, but you can actively go for training. It's just a waste of time and it's a minor advantage. Time to get oxygen back. I could dive for that. Yeah, some diving for it. Take the distress beacon as well. Will be a slug. Switch having issues. Um, no idea. Wait a little bit more. 75% oxygen maybe. I guess I could have opened the door, I have more oxygen in that area, so it's a bit faster. I'm buffering here and then reconnecting to chat. Uh, I don't know, everything seems fine on my side, but... Pretty good. Hmm. Word it again already. die with that. Okay, please give me clocking, especially for the dive. Never lucky. Not even my control.
Let's see if we can kill them or not. That's an easy weapon knock. That's pretty good. I think we're getting the fuel. Bio killing doesn't matter here, so we don't even bother. Rebel or NG? Okay, Rebel is better for Scrap, but we really want Clocking. We need to farm a bit for it, but... I'm going Angie. We want Clocking. Okay, fights. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Ah, we can take one first. Fine. The shields, please. Very good. Can we? No, we can't. Albert as well. I mean, we want clocking. What about? I want to sell both augmentations for the mind control. I have only four crew member. It might be worth it, honestly. Because, like, okay, I have another store this sector and I can get more stores next sector. But what if all those stores don't have mind control? Would I rather have mind control, having four crew members, or, or scanners plus reloader? Because if I get mind control, even if I don't have scanner and reloader, we are fine anyway, right? So technically, I shouldn't be greedy and I should sell the reloader and the scanners for the mind control. It's just better. Even if it feels bad to do it. I feel like it's safer. I wouldn't want to sell the reloader with this volley. I mean, why though? What are you gaining keeping the reloader? You fire more often? Sure, but what are you actually gaining? This game is not about DPS. Like this ship is good enough to win. It's good enough to win without the reloader. It doesn't really make a difference. It's better with it, but it doesn't really make a difference. At least. Like, it will never be any as impactful as, uh, as just having mind control or not. Well, 
Let's go for the safe play. No reason to be greedy. Timing issue with clocking a reloader. I don't know what you mean with issue. Like, I can fire two volley. Like, it doesn't matter though. Like, one volley and everything is down. I don't really care. Oh, wait, really? Like, I delayed a bit to fire my entire volley, but... I don't know. Oh, that fucking thing hit me. Come on, level 3. Feels bad. Doesn't really matter, but... Nice when they don't have clocking. They count the misplay of the hit because that was definitely my fault. I don't know how that happened, but it was my fault. Another burst laser. We could have had your laser, triple burst laser this run. Mantis Homeworld. Yes, I mean clocking, hacking, power bars, buffer point in oxygen, piloting, doors, and then we are done. A bit greedy, but I'm okay with it. We can avoid the pool, sir. We might control the mantis. Unfortunately, I 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, we can do that and then decide the, the there what beacons are we taking or not. We don't have to plan it's too far ahead, it's fine. It's all fine, so it doesn't matter which one we take. Well, that works. This guy will try to go up here now and he will die here. Where's the civilians run away? This guy here. Thank you so much for the prank server, Rock. We really appreciate it. Happy Angus. Delay. So I'm not moving the human out of there. They're closing doors. Am I even checking the store though? Like I don't need anything. I, I have the burst laser that I can sell but it's only 25 scrap. Any fight will be worth more than that. We get this and this, this buffers, and knocking. Fucking okay, content, thank you. Oh, exact. Annoying, but fine. Hmm. Kill this guy so I get my evasion back. Doesn't even matter. How much you get for playing a breach? One, two, three, four. With the store. Yeah, the store is just not worth it. Yeah, Raga, have a good one. Love that one then. Or not. Also, getting the mind control in that previous store means that I can skip all the. Like, for example, let's say I skip the mind control, that store, keeping the reloader and the scanners. Like, um. That also means I might have to check three or four other stores just to get that mind control. That it might not be there, but even if it's there, I might get it after all those stores. And that's also 
Like, it could technically be 200 scrap that I'm losing. Just because I'm not getting the mind control there. And that 200 scrap could be like the difference between having, I don't know, I don't know shields 3 and shields 4. Which I mean, it's not necessary, obviously. But I, I'd rather get shields 4 than a reloader, for example. I'm pretty sure it was the right call to get the mind control there. Selling uh, the augmentations. You could argue that they could get more scrap with scanners, but I mean... Again, not necessarily. Still piloting Ark, it's another ship. Early battle with Castro C, I think it's one of my worst ships. What's the issue? Early game, mid game. What's happening? Because understanding where you're having issues can help fix that. All systems, the weapons, yep. We can get shields for and we get um my control buffer as well. Yeah, sure, we got a map update, so obviously the scanner would have been irrelevant there. But even without that It could have been fine anyway. I want to clock the bomb. Okay. Set 13 again, nothing. Same first to play the laser plus thunder. Are you trying to get bio kills early game? Because, like. You can get many bio kills early game with the Castle C. Like the idea is to um, like one of the best way to get bio kills early game with this ship is uh, fire dual laser and stunner into weapons. So you can uh, get fires and stun the guys in the fires. I don't try bio kills. Yeah, that's the mistake then. Like, bio kills early game are very, very important. Same with Lage. Yeah, then that's the problem. Because, like, some ships are very good because they can get easy bio kills. But if you don't go for the bio kills, then they're suddenly not as good. Because almost every ship needs to upgrade weapons before Sector 3. And um, some ships are just better than others just because it's easier to get bio kills early game. And so it's more likely to get a weapon like that. If you skip bio kills altogether, then you're losing that advantage. And then that ship that's technically better might become even worse than another one. I mean, let's start going here. I 
I could upgrade battery. This is the last jump before the flagship. Let's see if it's a fight. Outpost, okay, definitely. So we get 100 scrap here, if not more. This is a very high scrap run, definitely over 6k. Let's go phase one. Um, I guess we can try to get a few bio kills, ignoring the clocking. No fires in there, unfortunately. Do nothing. Three hits with that evasion. they're dying they're not we can try to kill someone in the side room this though no it's not going there too bad but it's fine so the board in the run can be a problem now do we try to ignore it I have three fans I mean depending where he boards I have to deal with it Unfortunately. Okay, we can ignore the guy. We might take one damage, but we don't care. Okay, that was pretty horrible. with this too. Hey Leonard. Only one guy left, so perfect. We don't need to for shields first. You guy you can stay here. Let's go. Very quick power surge. That was horrible. 
That guy might die there. And I can't uh, really save him. Okay, we can save him. No damage, nice. I mean, my ship was overpowered, obviously. Yeah, 6k. Barely, but we got the 6k. 2088. Can't update everything. 